What's good, Duelist? In this video, we'll be going over eight deck lists from a recent Columbia Regional where actually Andres Torres got top four with a pretty cool deck. Um, so let's get into it. So we have first place being Tier Lament Horus. I did say Tier Laments are still pretty good. A lot of them are actually using the Lunalite package, but this one decided to play Dangers. Now we have three Tier Cash, three um, Tier Lament Rhino Heart, one Merle, one Sharon, one Horus, and a Shyama. I think Shyama is really good in this version. Three Fenrir. I also think Fenrir is just like an extremely strong card that keeps making it, and especially in the tier deck where you can play tier Laments Kashtira, it's a really good search target. Then we have three Danger Nuzzi. We're actually playing Bigfoot um, as our another danger, not like Jackalope or um, the level three or even the uh, MST. Bigfoot I think is pretty good. It goes hand in hand with the Horus cards. They are both level eight. So I think that is like one benefit to playing Bigfoot over um, the other dangers because we are running two sarcophagus instead of one. And then we have three Msudi. So Msudi is obviously the most broken card. You got to play three for our other Horus monster that we play. Just one Horus pretty much or one wind Horus. I don't know him by name, but we do always play one wind Horus. He is pretty much the best one besides Msudi. One Medora, one Keldo, no Guido, no Kelbeck. And then two Destiny Hero Malicious, three Field Spell, two King Sarcophagus, three Tier Lament Scream, three Forbidden Droplet. Forbidden Droplet I actually think might be good even post Phantom Nightmare, but I think um, it's definitely like one of the most underrated cards that I think is kind of making a comeback. <clears throat> I, I like Droplet a lot. Then we have three Tier Lament Sulek. That's kind of crazy playing Max Tier Lament Sulek. Um, I do like it and playing the Crime with it as well is, you, you know, he's pretty much going for both traps a lot. And then we have one Trivi Karma to make it 41 cards in the main deck. I actually think this is a pretty solid list and would be like worth trying on DV Ladder. And then we have one Tier Lament's Kaleido, one Access Code Talker and a Selene to go with it so our Charmers can actually climb into Access Code. And that'll be a Dark Charmer to go with it, then uh, Sprend, um, the Link 2 to Foolish our Merly, and then we have the IP Mascarena, SP Little Knight, and that finishes off our Links. We have Mud Dragon, Garura, wow this is a small fusion package. It's weird that they had like the Kaleido and then four fusions at the end. So we have Mud Dragon, Garura, Drago Stapelia, and a uh, the Destiny Hero fusion. I'm trying to think if he's missing any fusions. So we're not playing Rukalos. Oh yeah, so I guess it just seems weird, but we're not playing King of the Swamp, so we're not really gonna play any of those like, you know, like the Winda or even um, the Dark World fusion, Omni Negate. We can't really play any of those without King of the Swamp. So then we just have our XYZ's Beatrice, Tri-Edge Zombie, um, and then Bahamut Shark. Uh, totally awesome. And then for the side deck, we will have one called by the grave for going first, two cosmic cyclones. I expect that to go up to three in a month. Three super poly, because that card is too broken. Three impulse and a fire attacker for going second. Helps you dig for hand traps. One harpy's feather duster. Three Nibiru. Nibiru is definitely a good tech right now, I would say. And then it just gets even better. And then we have a volcanic scatter shot for time. All right, and then we have second place, probably what everyone considers to be the best deck right now, Rescue Ace, um, aside from like maybe Labyrinth. So in this Rescue Ace list, he actually plays one Airlifter because it got hit to one, one Fire Engine, two Hydrant, only two Hydrant is interesting, two Impulse, because I do feel like without the Airlifter, you kind of run out of resources a lot, um, two Preventer, two Turbulence, three Black Witch, Three Black Witch is crazy, but it gives you more starters for sure to kind of uh, help alleviate the tension that Airlifter left us with. Three Ash Blossom, three Effect Veiler, kind of like the staple hand trap lineup for a Rescue Ace deck is three Ash Blossom, three Effect Veiler, and three Imperm, so that's pretty standard. One Rota, three Emergency, one Rescue, one Alert, one HQ, three Wanted, one Called by the Grave, two Originals, so we're actually playing two Original with the three Black Witch, that's kind of interesting. Three Prosperity, because that card's still at three, surprisingly. Three Triple Tactics Talents, that card's broken. I do like it a lot in Rescue Ace, just because, you know, you brick. Um, it does conflict with Prosperity, so playing both of them max is kind of crazy. One Extinguish, one Contain, and then three Infinite Impermanence, and 43 cards. I mean, once you're at 41 or 42, why not do 43? I guess it's not that ridiculous. 
And then we have for the extra deck one excess co talker, one Appalooza, one Heat Soul, one Selene, one Dark Charmer, one Fire Charmer, one IP Mascarena, two SP Little Knight, one Unicorn, one Link Rebo, one Al Mirage, one uh, Heat Soul, one Spray Sprint. Spray Sprint's kind of interesting. And of course, the F Zero Typhon. I wonder what he's sending with um, the sprite. Like, is he just making that? The spray sprint is kind of interesting because he has no level two that he can send in his deck. So I guess he's just making it with um, Typhon. It's also it's also a Fire Thunder effect, but. Now I realize the reason he's playing Sprite Sprint is because of that Volcanic Scatter Shot in the uh, side deck. So I guess they're going to time a lot um, down here in Columbia because that is crazy playing the Sprint for the Scatter Shot. Um, yeah, you hate to see it. And then we have three Cosmic Cyclone, two DD Crow, three Drone Lockbird, two Kaiju, three Bell for Lab, one Feather Duster, probably for the Mirror, and then a Scatter Shot. Damn, that scatter shot and spray sprint is just like I would be sick if my opponent makes like fucking my opponent goes Hida and then spray sprint for scatter shot, man. Oh man, I'd be sick. All right, and then we have actually, you know, the heroes. I know a lot of people hate this deck because it loses kind of hard to hand traps, but heroes do make it at third place in this regional. So we have one elemental hero Neos. We're playing Neos the vanilla in 2024. That is crazy. Three Elemental Hero Stratos, cards broken will always be. Two Shadow Mists, three Ferris, um, three Incarnate, uh, two Vision, I'm sorry, I'm not good with these names. One Water, three Hero Lives, three Denier, two Mali, one Plasma, one Rhoda, one Palm, two Palmerization, like, that's crazy, this deck list, the pictures are different for the polys. What's going on? Why are the pictures different for the polys? Three Fusion Destiny, two Mass Change, one Miracle Fusion, um, that's actually a QCR in Japan now, that's kind of cool, just got announced. Three Ash Blossom, three Forbidden Droplet, three Book of Eclipse. Book of Eclipse is kind of interesting, like, for these texts, this format. But it kind of makes Droplet seem kind of good that he was able to go that far with it, um, in this regional, you know, because he's playing heroes, so you need, like, all the help you can get. He's only playing, like, three Ash, three Droplet, three Eclipse, and two Imperm. We're going second, 11 out of 43 cards. I, like, I do not like those odds. Um, called by, and then we're running the uh, Contact Trap. Pretty cool deck. Um, I would have to like look into this deck a lot more deeper to give any input on it. I can't say if this is a good hero list um, because I just do not know. And then like, like yeah, I can't even try with the extra deck. I'm sorry. Um, I, I'm sure there is a fucking hero Yugi tuber that is a goddamn expert on how to build a hero deck and he should make a video on this because I, lo I love when people the deck experts I know there's a hero discord somewhere right um so yeah go there for that and then we have for the side deck one Nibiru one I'm assuming some sort of sweet floodgate card that's level one in a destiny hero two bell three drone lockbird one lightning storm one harpy's feather duster two cross out designator three evenly matched um evenly matched is a pretty good yeah, it's, it's an alright card. I don't know, I just hate giving up my battle phase, so I hate Evoli. And then Rivalry, I do not know why they just didn't ban Rivalry as a card, because Rivalry is just, like, so oppressive, and I hate that card. Um, and it should just be banned, I don't know why it's out. Then we have Andre's Taurus list, which I was most excited to see, because I actually did not play during this format. Um, so I'm not, like, too familiar with the Orcus cards. I'm familiar with the Resonator cards, and I've always thought those were pretty broken. Um, just as an engine, like a side engine, like even in um, Centurion, it can be really good. I'm um, running the guy on these resonators. So we have two of the Mech Knight Stratos, one Heart Pour, um, one Crystal, one uh, Nightmare, or three Nightmare, of course, and then one, two of the World Legacy. We're running the Earth Horus along with three Emsetti and the Wind Horus. Then we have three Vision Resonator, one Illusion of Chaos, one Magician Souls, one Griffin. So Andre is saying like, yo, the adventure cards are still broken even though they're at three. Um, three Water Enchantress, three Right, one Faithful Adventure, one uh, Dracoback. One thing that would only suck is just like, if people, everyone's citing Bell, I would definitely be citing Bell against Water Enchantress, you know? Um, two of the D-Draw, 
one Field Spell, three King Sarcophagus, one Gaia for the Resonator package, one or three Super Poly, two Triple Talent, um, one Foolish Burial, and one Counter Trap. And then we have two of the Link, um, another of the Weird Link, I forget his name, two of the Rank 8, one Coach King um, to draw cards, one uh, the Zombie Vampire, one of the Monster Negate, one IP Mascarena, one SP Little Knight, one of the Field Spell Searcher, one Dark Charmer, one Baron, one Garura, and one Mud Dragon. And then we have three Ash Blossom in the side. Th so actually not maining Ash Blossom in this format. It's kind of crazy because I really don't think you want to main Ash Blossom next format either. Three Drone Lockbird, three Bell, one Magnum Up, one Druus Worm, one Crow, two Lightning Storm, one Feather Duster. Pretty sweet side. I like it. Now we have Fire Kings for current format getting fifth place. Um, and they're actually still running the Snake Eye, but a small Snake Eye package from what I see. So we have one of the OG Grunix, two of the new Grunix, three Kirin, three Ponix, one Barong, two Arvata, one Flamebridge, one Snake Eye Ash, one Black Witch. With these ratios will change a shit ton. I also think if you have three Black Witch, I'd probably be playing with three Black Witch in this format. Just for this deck, like, yeah, why not? Flame Bridge is broken. Three Ash Blossom, two Nibiru, three Drool, three Fenrir. So for going second, we have three Ash, two Nibiru, three Drool, eight, um, three Imperm, 11, because I don't really count Fenrir as a go in second card. I feel like it's better going first. And we're running three Fire King Island and one Skyburn and only two Sanctuary. I don't know why you would run Three Island and two Sanctuary over three Sanctuary and two Island. I feel like Sanctuary is just strictly better, right? Um, it's a material for Snake Eye Ash, um, and it lets you XYZ summon. Like, I'm always trying to search up, search the Sanctuary over the uh, Island. I mean, I, I could understand like two and two or one and two because, you know, the Island is like crucial for follow up, but I wouldn't play three and two. That, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Three Wanted, one Original Snake Eye, one, uh, three Imperm, and then one Called by the Grave. We're one, running one of the Rank 8, one Zeus, one Shangri-La, um, one Typhon. These cards, I don't know about Typhon next format. Like uh, The only XYZ I'm running right now is actually the Rank 8. One Tori Guide of the Underworld, one Excess Code Talker, one Appalooza, one Selene, one Dark, one Fire, one Heat Soul, one IP Mascarena, one Little Knight, one Link Rebo, and one Anima. And really, realistically, all of these extra deck cards are kind of valid. Like, this deck can play any extra deck card. Um, like, there's so much that you want to fit in this extra deck. It's, like, such a toolbox. Um, I've, I've ran through, like, all of these cards. Three Ghost Bell for the side. One Curry Kara, searchable off the original or the Ash. Three Cosmic Cyclone. One Feather Duster. Three evenly, three skill drain, and one there can only be one. So we're side in the floodgates heavy with the three skill drain, there can only be one. I expect those to be anti-spell fragrances soon. And then we have Mikanko. Mikanko's just like such a scary deck, you never want to play it. Three of the ritual monster, three of the wind, two of the fire, one of the water, one diviner, three ash blossom, three droll, two lava golem. And then three different kaijus for going seconds. So that's three, six, eight, eleven. I wonder if he was going blind second. And then we have two lightning storms too. So that's thirteen cards for going second. Might have been going blind second. Um, then we have five or seven. We have a lot of equip spells. And so we're running three of the bounce right. Um, two of the fire one. Two of the yeah. I don't know these names. I'm not even gonna try. Even with these other cards, like we're running hidden armory. This is just like. Damned edge. Like, I cannot imagine entering a tournament with a deck that's running, like, Axe of Fools and Hidden Armory. Like, that would feel crazy. But, like, Mikankos are a scary deck, and I just hate them from, like, playing Master Duel. Um, but enough of that. Preparation of Rights. We're running two of it. Three Proud of Prosperity. One Axe of Fools. One Mikan uh, Maganko. I don't know. One of each trap. Then for the extra deck, we have one Access Code Talker, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Hita, one IP Mascarena, one SP Little Knight, one Almirage, one of the new Power Tool Synchro, one Herald of the Arc Light, one Zeus, one Typhon, um, and then the Water Package to rank up uh, XYZ Package, Natis, and then we have three DD Crows for the side, two Bells, three Cosmic, 
one Feather Duster, three Solemn Judgment for going first, two Summon Limit, and one weird XYZ Trap that if you search up XYZ on Dueling Buck, you can find it. And then we have seventh place is pretty much really similar to the first place list. So we have three Rhino, three uh, Tear Cash, one Sharon, one Hobness, one Merle, Shyama, three Nezzy, three Benrear. Uh, I got pretty good memory, and this is literally just the exact same deck as the first list. Um, any differences in the extra? Like, it's just reorganized. Yeah, so the, let's go. First and seventh, both playing the exact same list, both topping out of 292 players. That's pretty insane. Um, and then we have a Branded Chimera. I have seen Runic Chimera being played a lot. I like that deck a lot. And But this was just a pure, like, Branded uh, Chimera. We have three Mirror Sword Knight. We have three Mirror Sword Knight, three of the Rota, um, three of the Earth. One, what card is that? I don't even know. It's a level three Earth. Is that even part of this? I've never actually seen that card before. Um, two of the level five, two Fallen Isle Baz, one Kit, two Chimera Fusion, three Branded Fusion, three Fenrir, three Ash, two Effect Veiler, one Droll, one of the Light Substitute Fusion, Three Super Poly, three Designator, two Talents, so five cards for going first, plus a Called By, it's like six cards for going first. Then two Droplets, three Imperm. So we're running three Imperm, Super Polys, six Ashes, nine Veilers, 11 Droll, 12. We have 12 cards out of 44 for going second. Not like those odds. And then we're running two of the uh, Chimera, Sub, whatever guy, one of this level A Fusion, um, the other Chimera Sub guy, one Guardian Chimera, one Albion, one Lebellion, one Mir uh, Mirror Sword Knight, one of the Tri Edge Bounce Guy, Karura, <laughs> Mud Dragon, Drago Stapelia, this Light Fusion, and the Dark Magician Omni Negate. And then we have a Typhon to top it off. And then for the side, I guess this deck might be able to run Shifter because he's actually running three Shifter in this list. Um, two DD Crow, one Wangu. You know, we gotta love the Floodgates with the end of Anubis, too. And then two Lightning Storms, two Cosmic Cyclone, three Evenly, ma evenly Mashed, and one there can only be one. I'm surprised to see no Labyrinth in this top eight, but that's pretty much it for me, and I hope you enjoy your day, Duelist. Peace.